Okay, welcome back guys. We're back with part 2 of the 180 $2.50 sit and go, which I got second in. Okay, we're gonna continue right with hand 104. We left off at 103. Tree Jack, that's an easy fold right there. Ace Deuce. Uh, with him shoving, it's easy just to fall. He gets called, he shows ace four. I think this guy actually won the tournament with the ace four suited muddy tutty pawns. This is probably what saved him right here. On the river, he hits a uh, straight. And increases his stack to 35,000. Yep, you have to get a lot of luck in these tournaments to make it to the final table. The variance is like very high. Tree 10, I min raise just to steal the blinds and antis. A7 suited. I was contemplating calling this shove, but if I made the call and was wrong, and maybe one of these guys call, I would be in big trouble. So I just decided to let it go. This 10 fold. Five jack, six queen, seven four. Okay, here's the big hand right here. You get an all in shove. It's folded around to me. And that's a no brainer. At the t for my tournament life, chances are this guy has a hand like ace king, ace queen, ace jack. I don't think he would shove with aces or kings or queens. He might. 3x rays or min rays. So I call it off and he shows a screen so I'm just screaming at the computer screen like hold please hold 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 do not give him runner runner if he hit if he hits a five he wins if he hits a queen or an ace he wins. Thankfully I hit my jack for trips and knock him out of the tournament. So now I have a stack size of let's see of basically sixty thousand. Ace Jack with sixty thousand chips where I don't think we did we reach the final table? I don't think so. Oh we did, yeah. Uh, this guy raised. I I could have opted to just shove here, but I thought I played safe and not call, not shove all in with just ace jack. <sighs> I paused on the sand for a while. I didn't really know what to do, but in the end, I just decided folding is best. When you don't know what to do, just fold. So I folded. Seven five. You get a shove here and a reshove. Well, for half of his stack, I just fold. Let's see what he has. Ace ten. The guy flopped the full house. Wow. So sick. Pocket eights. This is a easy min raise. Deal the blinds and antis. Pocket queens. I'm gonna raise it up by another five thousand to ten thousand. Maybe I should have done it to like fifteen thousand, but it worked. Then he fold, and I took down a nice pot. Now I have seventy-three thousand with um with eight players remaining in the tournament. Pick up ace queen suited. Um, this was another crucial hand that I made a good play. 
Now here it is again, another scary move. This guy shoves all in for his chips, twenty-five thousand. The blinds with just under um ten big blinds, and this guy just calls. This is so scary. He could have aces, kings, or queens. When someone does that. It's best just to get out of the way. You don't want to be in a three-way pot with some guy who just um, flat calls for half, for more than half of his stack. With um, at this point in the tournament, so I look at the ace queen as if it was seven deuce, and I just fold it. I didn't even think twice, and look what he had: ace pocket aces. I would have flopped the queen, and maybe thought my queen was good, and would have maybe called a min bet. So I'm so glad I folded. Uh, this guy can win if he hits a uh, spade. Doesn't happen. So that was a very very good laydown by me. This guy shoves all in. I could just call, but I said no. I don't want to get involved in a big pot just yet with pocket eights. So I fold. King Jack suited, I raise. I just decide to fold again. Seven queen, I fold, play tight. Jack six, fold. Junk hand, a seven. Uh, if I shoved and this guy wakes up with the hand, my tournament is basically over. I will have less than 10,000 chips, so I just decide to min raise, hoping that he will fold and I can just go heads up with this guy for his 12,000 chips. But this guy decides to f cold call, and I see a flop, very bad flop for me. He checks, I check behind, turns at 8. He raises 9,000 and now I'm just forced to fall. Nothing I can do there. A um, few junk hands I just couldn't play. H3. I might have shoved if he had folded, but can't do anything there. Pocket 5 versus Ace 8. He needs to dodge an ace or an eight. The turn comes an eight, and he's beat. Now we're just down to four players. Seven ten. I fold. Nine six suited. I three x raise, hoping for he four fold, and I got it. Let's go back here because the guy got eliminated. Let's see what happened. He min raised instead of just shoving all in. Very, very strange play. And now Royal Crab shoved all in. He called. He had ace four versus ace king. He needs a five. A five. That's not a club or a deuce or eight. To chop the pot, or even a four wins. That's not a club, yeah. But a ten comes and he's out. Now we're uh, three-handed, and I'm just not calling off with any random hand. When I started playing poker, a jack eight looked good to me. I would have called with it, but not this time. King seven. Easy fold. Wow, I would have flopped too clear, but I'm glad I folded. Anyway, it's the correct move, even though I would have flopped too clear. And this guy, he showed later showed me on um, pocket aces, so I'm still happy I folded. Nine eight. These guys are doing a lot of raids and reshoves. Ace eight, no way in the world I'm folding this at this point in the tournament. That's an easy uh, call for me. And he flopped the queen, and I'm pretty much out of the tournament. 
I would need runner runner or an ace. Well, there's one of my runners. Now I need any spade or a seven or an ace, and we hit our seven, our miracle seven. That was nice. Now I went up to 80,000. Now I have some chips to play with. Anyways, I fold Ace Queen. I just said I need to start stealing. I just shove all in, took down that pot. Queen 8. Easy fold. King Jack. I have chips to try and steal without um, risking all my stack. Uh, he shoves and I fold. He did this a lot. Every time somebody raised, he shoves and we forced to fold. So I think maybe he was a reg. He knew what he was doing in some way, but it eventually cost him. Right here. King 9 suited and he got hooked up with aces. He's pretty much. Drawing dead, he needs runner runner hearts or runner nines, and he's out of the tournament. So, heads up this heads up battle only lasted three hands. You'll see why. King 10 fold it to me, ace 9. I shove all in, he folds. And the very next hand, and the last hand, pocket eights. He raised to 10,000. I just decide I want to shove all in my pocket pair. He calls and shows pocket nines. Nothing I could do. I need a lot of help here. I get an open ender. I need I need his nine or a four to win. My eight is no good anymore because that would give him a straight. So. But I get a 10, and that's the end of the tournament, guys. So I did end up winning about, I think it was $80, but first place was over 100 so I really wish I could have won the tournament. But if you finish in the top two spots, or even top three spots, you've done well. So this is the end of my video. I hope. I can make more videos and maybe get to more final tables. So, thank you for watching. KillerXR89 signing out.